Now this is an area where um, it requires a little bit more shaping and a lot of people are surprised. Um, but we do it similar to like a, a setter or a golden retriever. We're, we're going to go ahead and trim off his whiskers, trim up his throat, and kind of accentuate his shoulder and his neck area. So what I'm going to do with his whiskers, he doesn't have an overly um, fuzzy face. If he did, you could use clippers. Um, I'll do one side one way and one side the other way to show you. But if you have a dog that has kind of a, a real fuzzy face, you can take a 10 blade and kind of drag it. And by drag, um, I'm going to take the clipper and put it at a right angle to the face and just kind of drag it this way instead of going like this. And what this is going to do is give a real soft plush look without making an obvious kind of clipper mark in the face. So I'm just going to drag over those whiskers. And if he has real fuzzy lips like this, you can do the same thing. Just kind of take your thumb, pull this lip back, and skim just to clean up that lip line. And I'm not pushing real hard. I'm just kind of floating over the face because we don't want to see any harsh clipper lines. We want it to look like it grew that way. The other way you can do it, if you're real tedious, is you can use a pair of scissors. Now, some old-time people will only do scissors. So if you want to do the scissor route, you just want to pull the skin tight, and you're going to snip whisker by whisker. And if you don't have really good eyesight, I wouldn't recommend it. But you just want to go in very gently and pick out all those whiskers. And I'll finish the rest of the clippers because it's just too tedious for me. <laughs> but I usually get the eye whiskers with scissors just because some dogs don't like the clippers around their eyeballs, and if they flinch, then you're going to get a real big clipper mark.